Do you prefer ordering your meat online? Well, then you must have heard about Licious for sure. Curious to know how they prepare it, pack it and deliver fresh juicy meat at your doorstep? Then watch this full video as we take you inside the factory. We have now arrived at Licious's processing center in Hoskote. Altogether, Licious has five such plants across India. Today, Chiranjeev, who heads the supply chain for Licious, will take us for a tour inside the plant. Welcome to Licious Sangamitra. Let's go in. Hello, all. Welcome to Licious. Now we are standing in the ready to eat and ready to cook section of the factory. As you would be aware, Licious hosts a range of ready to cook and ready to eat products on our platform. Spreads as a product launched a few years back has been loved by many, many of our consumers, uh, which is also a first of its kind in its segment. The spreads process obviously combines a mix of mayo as well as cooked chicken. As you can see on the right, the sawarma chicken um, process is going on wherein the marinated meat is being cooked slowly through a range of parameters and then after it is being checked um, uh, and, and monitored, it is shredded. And then packed into smaller forms and brought down to a temperature at which it can be mixed with the mayo and packed. Now we will come to the meat chiller wherein after the shawarma uh, cooking is done. We take the temperature down and when the temperature comes to a range that it can be packed as per the internal specifications, then only it will be mixed with the mayo and finally packed. Now we can go to the packing section. There are two distinct lines here. One is the bottling and one is the blister making. As we can see today, we are running continental spread and this is the continental spread packing group. The entire process starts from carefully checking the bottles. These bottles are pre-cleaned and sanitized and dried. And after that, obviously, we have a check from a quality. After that, it is put to the rotary table, wherein the, all the bottles are collected and then it comes at a certain speed to the packing conveyor. Then the hopper that finally dispenses the mix of sawarma and the uh, chicken that is what the final spread that we give to you and these bottles then actually through the packing line come through the metal detector which is one of the critical control points and after the sensing of the metal detector it finally goes into the uh, thin film room wherein after the capping artwork that is placed on it it finally thin film to give the final shape of the product. As you can see, after the shrink film is done, the product is now ready to be delivered. So now where we are standing is our red meat section. On a day-to-day -day basis, there are 30 odd products that are made each day. It may be goat curry cut, it may be boneless cuts, it may be specialty cuts like shoulder cuts, shoulder curry cut, leg curry cut and etc. As we can see here, all of my friends here are technicians who are highly skilled technicians in this field. For any lesion joining um, Licious, they undergo a series of rigorous training as a process of license to operate program, LTO. And only after that, they clear the LTO exams as well as the food handler safety certification. They are allowed to work at the soft load. This helps us to give the best quality and consistent quality each time. So as we can see now, a solder curry cut is being manufactured um, in the process. The solder curry cut as a process is a mix of uh, a machine cut as well as knife work. In fact, as a part of uh, uh, the 
butchery which our technicians are performing they will evaluate each and every piece as well as uh, trim of uh, all the unnecessary fat or um, stuff that that the consumer it should not go to the consumer right and after that uh, the further cuts are kept in portions all these portions finally come to the packing section and in the packing section my friends here are finally uh, packing into a product which would have a set of weight range as well as the pieces range and uh, after weighment and finally being sure that this is as per our specification it will go to the vacuum packaging section now we are in the chicken section our journey at delicious of chicken starts from carefully selecting the correct size range the correct quality of the bird at the very start the vendor quality assurance team ensures the best quality bird reaches the processing center at the processing center the same sealed vehicle again is rechecked and only the quality cleared stock only enters this hall in this process we would see on the right the curry cut line wherein each chicken is inspected and the all the visceral organs as well as the excess fat is actually trimmed off the chicken so that the consumer when they get it they get it complete clean and fresh ready to cook on my left side obviously there is boneless line it starts with the deboning of chicken and each part of the chicken is separately processed to give very various products from the same line it can be breast boneless it can be leg high drumsticks lollipop wings and many more finally it comes to the packing section where the packing is done based on the uh, sq offering that we do the consumer it can be half kg it can be 1 kg it can be 300 grams and my friend here is actually balancing the packet and finally it comes to the vacuum packaging section wherein the vacuum packaging is done by a packer and after that it goes to the final labeling and passing to the metal detector before it enters the fd store for years we have been buying our meat and fish from the local meat shops but that behavior is slowly changing millions today are ordering meat and fish via websites and online apps the pandemic has also played a very crucial role for this behavioral shift one of the leading change makers in this category has been licious the brand directly delivers to the customers via its app and website the startup was founded in 2015 by vivek gupta and abhay hanjura the brand today delivers to over 2.5 million customers on a monthly basis Let's hear the story directly from the founders today. we can i have given a moniker to the vcs of india we call them the vegetarian capitalists and no offense it's in a lighter vein but the fact was that you know back then everyone we met at least 90% of those people were somehow you know not consumers of the category and then they projected their biases towards the category i think that was a number one problem going to the extent of some people even telling us ki yaar isse acha to paneer kar lo you know so so i think this by this projection of biases did not help and then the second thing was you know templatization of business models ki the one question vivek and i always got was ki us mein bataiye kya hua hai china mein dikhaiye you know aisa model hai kya in fact uh, i won't name the you know firm but one of the firms actually backed out uh, at a term sheet stage uh saying that yaar one of their lps is uh, a guju large guju family who doesn't want to you know invest in the sector so i think this see this fundamental point i'm making sangamitra is that this category suffered from this nation's cultural hypocrisy ki agar aap dekho meat continues to languish in that kali thali in india right with condoms sanitary pads alcohol and meat is meat is a chautha sotela bachcha right so it's uh, this kali thali is a symbol right it's a it's a symbol of of our mindset so i think vegetarians apart i think the nation had to sort of also wake up and embrace the category for what it was worth and what it meant and i think the the larger societal cultural hypocrisy was the greatest impediment 
because that drove the mindset of the VC ecosystem. You know, when the package is delivered to a consumer, there are a lot that goes behind that package in terms of the processes and all of that, which the consumer obviously is not aware most of the times behind Alicia's package. If you could take us through that process, what it takes to deliver that to the, pro the end product to the consumer. We have created a, you know, a bespoke supply chain, uh, which is the first of its kind in the world, which actually solves the world's most complex inventory problem. Let me paraphrase this to you. Now, I said India is not one India, right? And Sangamitra and Abhay don't eat the same way. So this, what this really means is Sangamitra, meat is a category of, meat and fish especially, is a category of hyper-customization. You're Bengali, right? So when you have Ruhu, you have a Bengali cut, right? And you get that cut in a particular way. In fact, you want the head also to be cut, you know, in like three ways, right? So if you now go to a Telugu, they don't want it cut like that. Now, imagine, you know, what this means. What this means in the context of this nation, and to be a national brand is that you to actually at any given point in time carry a 300 plus SKU selection which is highly perishable right and but the farm to consumer cycle is anything between 24 to 36 hours now this is to be for so 300 SKU combination with a two to three day shelf life across 140 odd delivery centers in India running through six different supply chains and processing centers coming from a few hundred farms, a few hundred landing centers and coasts, a few, you know, thousand farmers, and all of this aggregating to reach the consumer in a 90-minute delivery promise with a less than 5% wastage. So this is a few million inventory combinations that plays at play any time, right? And I think this is where going direct to consumer really helps. If you could give us some sense of the scale that Licious is at today. I could give you a sense of, uh, in, in, different sen in different ways. So today we are in about 28 cities of India. Uh, we are serving close to, uh, closer to 2 million orders on a monthly basis. Uh, our ever required base of consumers is close to I think 3 million consumers. Now processing uh, facilities are spread over close to 200,000 square feet today. So I think that's a massive operation, one of the largest, I think the largest in India uh, in terms of the entire network uh, and the number of consumers that we serve. I think our, you know, uh, our revenue is closer to, you know, we should be exiting the March this year, you know, above 1500 crores in revenue run rate, right? So I think that's a phenomenal growth in numbers as well. And mostly again, you know, driven by repeat customers, you know, which has always been the hallmark of Licious here, which has allowed us to build the D2C brand.